Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. Please send me your Bible questions and keep the Bible questions Bible-centered because this is a Bible-centered, Bible-focused ministry. I'll give you the email address where you can send your questions at the end of the broadcast. We do have a question today from a listener. A lady writes, she says, Hello, Pastor Mike, hope you're doing well. First, I'd like to say for three days straight, I have listened to your verse-by-verse teaching on the book of Genesis. She says some kind words to me and encouraging words. Um, And she says, she goes on to say, My eyes have been opened to how amazing and magnificent this chapter is. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to our beautiful God, she says. I agree. It is an amazing chapter. I think... Genesis chapters 1 and 2 are my favorite chapters in the entire Bible. I hope we get to relive creation week somehow, some way, when we get, it, we get to heaven. Here's a question. God created earth. He placed man and his wife in the garden. When they sinned, he forced them out. So is, was, Eden here on earth. If not, where is it? And did Adam and Eve not live here on earth as we lived? Um, She said, I hope my question makes sense. I think so. I think it makes sense. And uh, here's what I would say in answer to it. Yes, Eden was on earth. And yes, Adam and Eve lived on earth just like we do. There's no reason to believe anything else if you believe the Word of God. Genesis 1.26 says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And then add to that Genesis 1.28, which says, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Upon the earth. The plain, simple text of Scripture teaches that Eden was on earth, and that's where Adam and Eve lived before and after they sinned. And there's no reason to interpret it any other way. In fact, there's no need to interpret the entire creation story, including the story of Adam and Eve. We don't have to interpret it. It doesn't need to be interpreted. There's, no, there's nothing to interpret. All we have to do is read it and accept the fact that God said what he meant and meant what he said. And I know there are all sorts of fanciful interpretations, so-called, out there concerning Genesis. But they have nothing to do with the Word of God. They have nothing to do with rightly dividing God's Word. And they are, in fact, just the imagination of someone's heart. So take the Word of God at face value. Take the book of Genesis at face value. That's how it's meant to be. And if you have any questions for me, send them to scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. That's scriptureversebyverse at gmail.com. As always, thank you for listening. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break Q&A. So long, everyone.